Writing a conclusion, you've done your analysis and now you come to the last part in a 12 mark uh, question. I don't know why I put two fingers up, but maybe 12, who knows. Uh, so writing a conclusion, analysis, done. What do you do now? That's it. Here is the question. We're going to use an example. So pause the video and make yourself familiar with the question. Here are some of the analytical analysis points you could have used. Uh, I've not included context in this video. You will need to include context and application. And finally, the mark scheme. Rule number one, do not repeat yourself in the conclusion. Add something new. You've already told the examiner the benefits and the drawbacks of education and training. They do not want to hear that again. So now is the time to add something new and really wow the examiner when they're reading it so that they know that you are a level nine or A star grade economics student. There's always going to be a, a combination of measures uh, to answer an economic problem is not just going to be one uh, policy uh, by itself. Uh, such an education and training alone is not going to solve unemployment. So that's why we say there's going to be a combination uh, of policies that is going to help uh, reduce unemployment. And we'll look at this in relation to the next rule. So the combination of policies that a government uses uh, depends. Okay, this question is going to come up. It depends on a lot of things. So it depends on the type of unemployment, depends on the percentage increase and decrease of unemployment. Is it rising? Is it decreasing? Is it expected? Is it not expected? I'm going to put up a list now of this depends uh, argument or this depends scenario that you can portray in your conclusion. Pause the video and take a look at these depends argument. This list is not exhaustive and there are plenty, plenty more of depends on arguments out there. Okay, so number four, you can talk about the short term and long term. You can say, for instance, in the long term, uh, education and training will be effective, but we know from our analysis that it takes a long time to impact, so the long term benefits. So we can say, actually, uh, in the short term, uh, demand side policies or lowering business taxes, lowering uh, income tax, increasing national minimum wage might be more effective to increase the supply of labor or to more incentive for people to work, thus reducing the unemployment rate. So there we have uh, a short term and a long term approach that we can also take. Here is a depends argument and combination. Uh, it depends on type of unemployment. If it's also cyclical, then a combination of policies, monetary, fiscal and supply side policies might also be effective. For example, lower interest rates and lower business tax to increase spending and demand will help with job creation and reduce unemployment. So you can see that we've actually taken uh, the case study and said, well, it actually depends on uh, how much of it is structural unemployment, how much of it is cyclical unemployment, how much of it is easy, even seasonal unemployment. So there you go. It depends. And we've used the combination of policies to say, actually, we can use X, Y and Z to help uh, reduce unemployment. Here we have a, another conclusion uh, using depends and combination. Uh, it also brings in short-term and long-term factors. So pause the video and have a read. Here is a, another short-term and long-term answer using a combination of policies. So now I'm just going to quickly run through uh, some past mark schemes. You'll see uh, highlighted where it says uh, depend, short term, long term, uh, and a combination of measures. So you can exactly see the different types of depends arguments, the different types of short term, long term, uh, and the combinations of measures just for your reference. So just feel free to pause it uh, wherever you feel necessary.
So there we have it, how to write a conclusion. Uh, remember, don't repeat yourself. Uh, the examiner wants to see your knowledge and economics. We use many, many, many different policies in combination together, and it depends on a lot of factors. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.